Alrighty guys, so I'm going to show you the area model way of how to divide. So say we have 361 pieces of candy and the Brzezinski family, they really want to divide it amongst Mr. B, Sloan, and Bo. Okay, so we have 361 and we want to break it into three different groups. And the area model shows that representation of breaking it into the individual groups, which is which makes it really neat. So first we wanna ask ourselves how many times three we can take go into the hundreds place. Three can go into that hundreds place. And I know I can take out three one hundreds. So if I take out three one hundreds, I have 361 and I take out three one hundreds, that leaves me with 61. How that's represented over here in the area model is I have three one hundreds that equals three hundred. That's what I'm taking out of 361. Okay, now I have 61 left and I want to divide it amongst them. The, the, this family here. So I know I can take three and I can put it into 61, three, I can do that 20 times, 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60. I broke up that piece of candy 60 more times. That leaves me with one piece of candy. How that is represented over here is I took three and I gave everybody 20 pieces. That leaves me with, they uh, broke up all 60 of those pieces and I'm left over. I have one piece left over and I guess Emmy or Miss Jen can fight over that piece. So when we have a remainder of one. Now, what is the quotient? Okay, we're trying to decide how many each of these individuals have. I know that we have, each person has 120 pieces. Each person has 120 pieces and we have a leftover of one. Well, where's my quotient here? Well, I pull up the numbers that I multiplied that 30 by. So I have 120 remainder one. Okay. Ms. Hutchins is going to show you a faster version of that, but that's a really broken down version of how to do area model.